All right, Sean, we're going to go ahead and keep keep rolling here. All right, and keep rolling here with the class. We're going to finish it out through a uh, uh, recording. Again, we're the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. We're going into how the so-called white man that ran up into that damn uh, Walmart, all right, the El Paso shooter, he is the damn devil the Bible speaks of, and it proves that the so-called white man, woman, and child, he is the damn devil the Bible speaks of, all right? The word devil means deceiver, means liar. All right, we're going to get more scriptures on the so-called white man. This is Amos chapter 3, verse 6. Amos chapter 3, and verse 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? And shall there, it's like it, shall there be evil in the city? And the Lord hath not done it. Right? The Lord brings evil to the city. Someone died. The Lord uh, is the reason why he died. The Lord is the reason why he was put to death. The Lord. Okay, not man, but the Lord. That's why we should fear the Lord. Fear the Most High. Most High brought that... Uh, terrorism. The Lord brings terrorism on the earth. All right. Evil in the city is done because the Lord allows it. He sanctions it. The Mexicans, we must, we must, okay, keep the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High to gain the Most High's favor because the Most High is sick of all the wickedness on the planet Earth. Mexicans joining white people, white people joining Africans, Africans joining the Negro, Negro uh, joining the Chinese. He didn't want that. He didn't want that. He wanted blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians to be alone and on top. All right? Alone and on top. Okay? And these mass shooters, uh, uh, um, mass shooters are going to Walmart, murder Mexicans, all those devils that are chopping up our sisters, kidnapping our sisters and selling them for sex across Lake Superior, selling our sisters from the First Nations. They're going into slavery, and you're going to own them as slaves, First Nations, to prove that. Prove that you're going to hear it before, you're going to hear it now. The First Nations, the man, they're going into slavery. Okay, this is the book of Isaiah. All right. Bear with me one second. Isaiah chapter 14, verse 1. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob and will yet choose Israel. Okay, he's going to choose the first nations. You, okay, the first nations, your forefather's name is Jacob. His name was changed to Israel. You are the Israelites. And of all the people on the planet Earth, he's going to choose you. He's going to choose you, first nations. That's a miracle. Like, when we think of the Bible, we think of miracles, right? The miracle of the Bible is that of all the people on the planet Earth, the white man is doing well in Canada. East Indians doing well in Canada. Pakistanis doing well in Canada. Filipinos doing well in Canada. He's going to choose the poorest people of Canada, the first nations. The Algonquin, the Cree Indians, the Mi'kmaq Indians of Quebec, the Haitians, Colombians, South Americans. Central Americans. He's going to choose them. He's going to choose Israel. All right, let's read on. And set them in their own land. Right. Our land isn't the reservation, Native American Indian. Our own land is the land of the Lord, the Middle East. Why is the most hotly contested land? Because it's your land. Isn't your land highly contested on the Black Hills, Native American Indian? Isn't your land highly contested on Thunder Bay, in the reservations, on the reservations, Native American Indian? That's our land. All right. Middle East. And the strangers shall be joined with them, and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Right? The strangers, they're going to cleave to us. White people, Chinese, Africans, they're going to cleave to us. All right, let's read on. And the people shall take them. We're going to take them. That's not democratic. We're not going to invite white people to our powwow, to our bonfire. We're going to take them. Just like they took us. Let's read on. And bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives, whose captives they were. Right. We're going to have them possess them as servants and handmaids and take them captives. They're going to be our slaves, just like we were their captives. We were their slaves, First Nations. Weren't we slaves after they massacred us? Didn't they make a, a whole holiday called Thanksgiving? When Thanksgiving is about the massacre of the native Indians. Here's how Thanksgiving started. White man, pale face, was massacring Native American Indians all across Canada, all across the United States, right? They were having so many massacres that after every massacre, they would, uh, um, after every massacre, they would have a Thanksgiving. They would have a feast. Well, there were so many of this feast, Abraham Lincoln, President of the United States, said, stop. Stop all these feasts. We're going to make November 24th. The day of thanks from the Lord allowing us to massacre these native Indians. All right. When it wasn't the Lord that, that um, 
gave them that power. They were given that power, okay, and they ran with them. They went too far. They went too far in murdering the North American Indians, okay? They went too far. Once the Native American Indians turn, the Lord is going to put them into their hands, okay? You have white slave Native American in the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is rulership on earth, and these mass shooters, school shooters, murderers, genocidal maniacs that are chopping up our women, they'll be slaves, and we'll work them like dogs, all right? Like dogs, they were our oppressors. They are our captives. We were their captives. They'll be our captives, okay? Um, whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. You're going to rule over your oppressor, First Nations. You're going to rule over your oppressor, black man, Hispanic man, Native American, Indian man. Who is your oppressor? Your oppressor is el hombre blanco, the gringo, the pale face, the white man, whatever you want to call him. He is our oppressor, all right? He's our oppressor, and he's going to pay. Let me get another scripture on the so-called white man coming down to murder North American Indians, First Nations, Negroes in the last days, okay? You're alive, you're watching this YouTube class, understand that you're in the last days. This is the end of the world. This is the end of this modern society, okay? World War III is coming, and this world is going to be destroyed. But it, before it comes, before Christ returns, Christ is a black man, all right? He's not a white man, all right? Before he returns, they're going to try and murder as many First Nations as they can. They're going to try and chop up as many Native American Indian women as they can. Try and kidnap many as, Native, as many Native American Indians as they, as they can. They're going to try to get as many Haitians, Native American Indians to get high, smoke cigarettes, eat pork, crab, shrimp, and lobster because they know when we do that, we're going to die. All right, We're going to be put to death and we're not going to see the kingdom be built up. All right, As we should. Okay? Let's prove that. Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12. Therefore, uh, thus, therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea. Rejoice, heavens. What are the heavens? Heavenly things. Things that are pertaining to the Most High. Well, if you're listening to this class, you're listening to the, the, the orders or commands of the heavens. This is how the heavens will be uh, um, brought forth. This is how the heavens will be Erected. This is how the heavens or the kingdom of heaven or the kingdom of the most high will be brought here on this earth, here on this earth. OK. This is these this class and the, the I should be OK. We're teaching you about what heaven will be like. Heaven is rulership on earth for blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians, the First Nations, the Negro, North, South and Central American Indian and Negro. All right. Rejoice. We're rejoicing right now at this because these, although this terrorism is terrible, although it, it happened to our people, which is doubly terrible. This is the sign that the Lord is coming. And that murderer, that mass murderer is proof that when Christ returns and cuts the heads off the so-called white man, off the leaders of this world, takes all these presidents, prime ministers, kings and queens and puts them in chains. He's going to be right in doing it. He's going to be right in doing it. Let's keep reading. Uh, Revelation chapter 12 and verse 12. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. Who are the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea? The people, the masses, people in the world. You've ever heard the term, uh, it was a sea of people, right? You've, you're in a crowd at a stadium, at a game, at a concert, whatever. Everyone jumps up and does the wave. The masses of society are likened to ocean, likened to water, likened to earth, the world. People in the world are going to be destroyed. They're going to be destroyed by the devil. The so-called white man is about to descend upon brothers and sisters in the world with a fury that you have never seen in human history. You have never seen in human history and you will never see again. All right. He's going to descend with evil that you're going to say, no, no, he, he couldn't have done that. Oh, you think you know the white man's evil? Chop Native Indian women up, put them in freezers, ran into a Walmart, shot twenty people, murdered twenty people, and and wounded twenty six more. We think we know his evil. We don't. You don't understand his evil, First Nations. We don't understand his evil. He's going to come out with so much evil. It's going to be. It's going to be biblical. You understand? Let's read on. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath. 
because he knoweth that he hath a short time. He knows he has a short time. Because of that, he's going to come down. He's going to come down and descend upon us with great wrath. And that's what happened in the Walmart. The white man knows he has a short time to rule, and he's going to he's going to descend upon us with great wrath and evil. Man, that devil in El Paso that shot up those brothers and sisters is is a devil, a liar, a deceiver, and he knows his people have a short time before they're overcome. He said that there, there would be a native Indian, uh, not native Indian, a Hispanic invasion. There's not going to be a Hispanic invasion. The white man is unable to produce children to keep up his population growth. And so he plans on murdering, okay, the other people. All right, which is what it says in the scripture. 